and D was in the news today because uh, Hamza Yusuf and his wife have dropped a case that they had against the the local uh, nursery, and this has been going on for about two years. They applied to have their uh, child there and they got turned down. So suspecting, wrongly suspecting there was some kind of um, uh, discrimination involved. What they then did, can you believe this, is they made several false applications under quote unquote Scottish sounding names to see if those sorts of children would be accepted. And I don't know what they imagine a Scottish sounding name is, perhaps something like, I don't know, Jock McTavish or Hamish McScotland, or even Alistair McConaughey. I don't know if they used that name. Wouldn't surprise me if they did. However, I don't know what exactly was the upshot of their little trick experimentation, but they were going to sue the nursery for anti yusufism That's what they were going to sue the nursery for. But they've dropped the case, thankfully, and the person behind the nursery had a quote that's worth reading out again, if only just to stick it to the Yusufs. And this person said, quote, Despite this vindication, it has been deeply upsetting to have spent almost 18 months and tens of thousands of pounds defending our small nursery against their false claims. It beggars belief that rather than pick up the phone to quickly resolve what was a simple misunderstanding, they colluded in a half-baked sting operation and then mounted a vicious and cynical campaign against us in the national media. What sort of people do that exactly? Eh? What sort of people do that? Now, of course, what they should be saying is, sorry for your inconvenience, sorry for accusing you of anti yusufism but something tells us that's not quite their style.